So the new Madden trailer just dropped. EA strikes again. You know what time of the year it is. It's almost summertime. EA is preparing to drop the new Madden for the year. It's the same fucking game every year. I have a PS5 and I'm not going to buy Madden 21. Ooh, excuse me, Madden 22. <laughs> well, I could say Madden 21 because it's the same fucking game. I just watched the trailer. The trailer looks the same. The players move the same. The players do not move realistic at all. It is a shame that NFL 2K5, a game that came out in 2004, almost 20 years ago is better more realistic than Madden Madden is the worst franchise in all of gaming after the PS2 days Madden fell off a cliff I would say really the last good Madden the last decent Madden was Madden 12 on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. That was the last decent Madden that you could enjoy. Madden, when it got the PS4, Xbox One, it, it, it sucks. It's not enjoyable. It's not realistic. They do not give you a replication of what you see on Sundays. This is why 2K will always be better than EA. NBA 2K shows you exactly what you see when you're watching an NBA basketball game. From the announcers to uh, the halftime show, the presentation. 2K has always had better presentation than EA. How realistic the players move, the crowd, the different, just the different interaction that you have with the game is way more immersive. And it feels like you're on the court. It feels like when you create a mob player, you get attached to that player. You feel immersed in the game. Madden doesn't give you anything that makes you feel immersed. Madden gives you absolutely nothing. And we pay $60 for this bullshit every year. And this is the first year. You know, I've been saying Madden has sucked over the years. But I will still go out and buy Madden when it came out in August. This is the first year that I am hell bent on not purchasing Madden 22. Let's start off with the cover. Why do you have Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes on the cover? Why not just have Brady on the cover? Even though he's already been on the cover before from Madden 18, he just won the Super Bowl with Tampa Bay. If you're going to have Brady on the cover, have him on the cover by himself. Why the fuck do you have Patrick Mahomes on there? Matt, Patrick Mahomes is just on Madden 20. Uh, Madden 20. Why is he on? Why is he on the cover again? It makes no sense. The gameplay footage that they showed—it's the same game. Nothing will change. Nothing looks different. Nothing that they put in that trailer makes me say I have to spend sixty dollars on this on this video game because it looks so much different than the last than last year's version. I really wish 2K had the license to make NFL games. I am a huge NFL fan. I like NFL more than I like the NBA. But I buy 2K and I enjoy 2K more than I enjoy Madden. And I am not a basketball fan like that. The only time I really give a fuck about basketball and I really don't even do it then but only time I really somewhat keep up with it is during the playoffs 
I'm not a huge basketball fan. I feel like the NBA is soft. The players, they bitch them on for fouls every time, you know, every every play. A lot of the games don't matter. And it, it's so... I mean, you got you got seven games to win a fucking series. Like, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of the NBA. Um, the last time I really really was into it was when Kobe was playing. Um, I think LeBron is a bitch. So I'm not a big fan of the NBA, but I enjoy 2K more than I enjoy Madden. And that's a damn shame. I go to I go to NFL games. I watch NFL games every Sunday, and Madden does not show me what I see on Sundays. You still can't control the fucking temperature in the game. <laughs> like, go come on. They I have a PS Five. They they um they try to do something a little different with the crowd, showing the crowd more. They show the same fucking clips every time they show the crowd. Like, you don't show the players having fucking interviews. You don't have a different broadcasting crew. When in the NFL, you got Fox, you got CBS, you got uh, Thursday night football, Sunday night football, Monday night football. And the commentators they have on Madden are not even the commentators that you enjoy when you're watching an NFL football game. I don't even know what broad I don't even know what broadcast team they are a part of. Cause they don't call primetime games. You know, so you got guys that don't even call primetime games as the only two announcers that you have on the game. The the my player mode is fucking trash and non-existent. Franchise mode is non-existent. Like it, Madden is a joke. Madden is the longest running joke in video games. And it needs to be boycotted because it's really a slap at a slap in the face at this point. The garbage that they put out is really just a slap in the face. You're charging sixty dollars for the same game. The game isn't realistic. The players don't even run realistic. The players don't even. They don't have any likeness to their actual real life counterpart. All the fucking players run the same. <laughs> There's no unique celebrations. You, you be, the players barely got any tattoos. Like this is not realistic. It's not a simulation game. Simulation means you're, you're seeing on a video game what you see in real life. It's simulating what you see in real life. Like, you don't have interviews with the coaches. Like, <laughs> I mean, I could, I could go on and on. But it is a shame that a game that came out in 2004, NFL 2K5, is more immersive than Madden on current gen. So I'll say all that to say I'm boycotting Madden this year. Madden will not get a down for me this year. I will hold on to Madden 21 and I I may get rid of that. I've been contemplating on getting rid of that. Because I, I just don't enjoy Madden. I do not enjoy it. Playing online is laggy as fuck. Like, I, 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 I don't enjoy Madden at all. And I think a large majority of football fans don't either. So boycott Madden.